back to school season is officially upon us and to help those of you who are about to embark on a new year filled with long study sessions, midterms and finals, I am going to be sharing some university essentials. Before we get into it though, I do want to say a huge thank you to LastPass for sponsoring today's video. I've been using LastPass as my password manager whenever I'm navigating the internet and it is one of the essentials I will be discussing later on in the video. I've got four years of university experience so I feel like I've got some interesting things to talk about and hopefully some things that will make this year a little more stress-free. I don't think anyone's gonna be surprised. I have to start off with essential number one being a planner. Now I personally personally use a bullet journal system and if you've never heard of that before you are essentially making your month at a glance your weekly spread any trackers that you want to do all by yourself it's completely customizable but it also requires a bit of work on your your end because you have to create the spread so it's not a system that necessarily works for everyone some people want a little bit more structure to their planners, planners that have spreads already created for them that you just fill in. And there's so many amazing options out there on the market. But if you are interested in exploring the world of bullet journaling, I will link this bullet journal down below as well as a few links to some student bullet journal videos I've done. But whether you use a bullet journal or a traditional planner or even an online system um, of calendar, it is, I think, just critical to make sure you have somewhere where you are keeping track of due dates, of when your classes are, when your tests are going to be. And I also think it's important to schedule in me time. I feel like us students don't take the time or enough time to focus on us and our needs, whether it's working out or spending time on a hobby, socializing, taking a bubble bath, anything really that's not school related. If you're making anything and everything about school, then anxiety levels are inevitably gonna go up, stress levels are gonna go up. So make the time in your planner for you because that sets the tone that you are worth spending time on even during the more busy seasons of student life. When it comes to discussing essentials for university and college, I don't think the first thing that comes to mind is our closet, but I think there's a discussion worth having right here. When you're in the student life, there's a lot of opportunities that can come up for networking events on campus, or you might have an internship or a job opportunity pop up that you suddenly need to go interview for. And unfortunately, although these opportunities are great, you don't always get to pick when they come. Sometimes they arrive right in the middle of midterm season and final season. Something that I would recommend any student have is at least one business casual or business formal outfit that you feel awesome in. It'll obviously save you time from having to rush to a store or order something online and hope that it comes in time for the event, especially if it's a last minute thing. And also, I feel like just gives you peace of mind to know that you are ready to go for anything that comes your way. I would definitely recommend you get a dress pant. This is just a basic black one from Topshop. If you are only going to have one dress pant, then I would recommend buying something neutral so that you can have more fun on top. Having a good solid blazer is also a great idea. I love blazers, so I wear them even on non-formal <laughs> occasions because I think they can just really elevate a look. And I would encourage you to find a blazer that has a little bit of personality. You don't just have to, when you think of business formal, go with black pants, white shirt and a black blazer. Simple is fine, but you can also show your personality with the pieces that you get and still be appropriate for the occasion. This one right here is from Zara and I love it because it has like these cool elbow pads and even a star lining in here. What else? This is a more traditional one from Dynamite. I really like it because it's, it's very thin and it's got these striping details on it. This one is brighter and more dainty. A little bit fancier, got this cool neckline. I feel like this is the type of blazer that you have tea in. This one from Zara is also super cute. I wore it all the time to class. Kind of got this oversized boxy look that I really like. You can also have fun with blouses and any shirts that you wear underneath your blazers. So many options, my goodness. This next essential is the part of the video that is sponsored by LastPass. One of the things I always had a hard time keeping track of in university was keeping track of my passwords. There was very little brain space left for anything other than school. Especially when you first get started with the university, you just get bombarded with these new logins for student email, portal for registering for classes, residence portal, like the list, it just goes on and on. Obviously one of the best ways to protect your accounts online is to have different passwords for everything, but then you have to 
remember those passwords. So what's great about LastPass is that it stores all of your passwords in one place and it will autofill in your login information when you're entering a new site or an app on both Android and iOS devices. It makes navigating the internet super easy. You don't have to waste time resetting forgotten passwords. There's unlimited password storage and it's also free to sync between devices. So definitely something worth checking out if you haven't already and there will be a link in the description box below. I'll end it with a thank you to LastPass for sponsoring this portion of the video, let's move on to the rest. There are a lot of small essentials that students need, whether it be pens and pencils or backpacks, water bottles, and all of those things and more I feel like I covered in my What's in My Backpack video and my Back to School Stationery haul. There will be links in the description box below to both of those videos if you wanna check those out. But I do feel like it's worth reiterating the importance of finding a backpack that works for you. The things I always like to pay attention to when shopping for backpacks are finding colors and styles that I feel like I won't get sick of, so keeping things neutral, ensuring that they're made of good material that's going to last, and also that inside there's plenty of room to fit everything you need. This bag is, I think, really cute, but it also is functional because it can fit so much inside of it. So finding the right balance between cute and functional is critical. Also, before buying a bag, especially if you're gonna buy a backpack that is a little bit on the pricier side. Make sure you read reviews, look up articles, try and do your research so that you are ensuring you're making an investment in something that's going to last you. Headphones, whether they are wired or wireless, I feel like are a great thing to have on hand. As a student on campus, I feel like there's so much time spent walking to class, especially in Toronto. Our campus is fairly big in downtown. You could potentially have a class at Con Hall and then have to make your way to Isabel Bader Theater or even Oise, which if you know any of these rooms that I'm talking about, you have to let me know in the comment section down below. And that's just on campus. There are people who commute to school by train. Um, so basically there's a lot of opportunity to make use of travel time by listening to a podcast or an audiobook or just regular music. You could even take voice notes of you reading your notes and listen to them back for any class that you have a test coming up for as just a way of like getting information really in your brain. Headphones, the on the go enhancer. I did go to school for marketing, so I know taglines, that was a good one. If you don't already have a reliable printer at home or in your campus dorm, your apartment, then I would highly recommend getting one. I've had this one from HP since first year. It's not fancy by any means, but it gets the job done. Still does a good job at printing and scanning things, so I'm really happy with it. As a student, you obviously have a lot of assignments that you have to print out. Well, at least I did. A lot of my professors still uh, required me handing in physical copies of essays and reports. So if I would have taken advantage of the printers that were on campus, which are typically available, I would have spent a lot of money printing because I found that the printing prices on campus were a little crazy. So even though ink can be pricey, I saved money by having the printing happen at home. What's great about an all-in-one printer though, in addition to being able to print things last minute if you need to, you know what I mean? It's also being able to scan things. So if you get feedback from a test or on a test or an essay report, you can scan it in and then you can get rid of the physical copies. You don't have to hold on to that. So that uh, obviously clears up your physical space and then you can just organize that into some folders online and you're good to go. Speaking of files, right next to my computer, you may notice this little black box is a very big hard drive. I think it's a six or eight terabyte hard drive and it just stays right there, that's its home. Something I've really been talking about this back to school season is the importance of backing up your files, especially the projects that you are writing like at the moment. You wanna make sure that as you were writing, you were constantly saving. And I would even go a step further and make sure that I was saving in multiple locations. So if something was not working with some cloud storage system or another hard drive, I knew that there was a version of that assignment somewhere else. It's a little nuts but it did save me once or twice throughout university, so I felt like it was worth doing. This right here is my student ID. I blocked out my student number. I actually called a T card here at the University of Toronto. Now it might seem pretty obvious that you should always have this on hand, obviously because it's a form of identification, especially for when you are writing tests. It's usually something you, you have to have to prove that you are the person that is writing your exam. But this beautiful, 
beautiful card also gives you access to the beautiful world of student discounts. By showing this, I'm able to save money at local stores near campus, on groceries, on subscription services. There's a lot of subscription services that give student pricing. I've gotten discounts on my laptop purchases, my camera equipment purchases. I even know of a club that gives students free access. So really in all areas of your life, there's opportunities where you can save money and you can only save that money if you have your card on hand. So I'd recommend that if you haven't already, invest time looking up online or looking up on forums on Reddit for your school, where are places that, um, that offer student discounts that are local to you. I probably saved hundreds, if not thousands of dollars with this beautiful piece of plastic that I will be trying to still continue to use for as long as I can pass for a student. <laughs> Fun fact, this photo of me was taken in grade 12, right before first year. I was just a little baby. For so much of high school and the first two years of university, I never really used music when I was studying. I thought it was really distracting, but then something happened and I hit third year and I really started to like instrumentals. So I actually now have a study playlist that I always go to and I even use it now as my work playlist when I really need to get in the zone. But I think it's such a great idea to experiment with it if you haven't already to curate your own playlists, whether they're just instrumental tracks or vocal tracks. If you don't wanna invest the time to create your own, I'll link my playlist down below so you can use it during your next work session. I really like the fact too that I use the same playlist every time because I feel like then it just like notifies my brain that it's time to get work done, not time to scroll on Instagram, although that sometimes happens. But for the most part, whether I'm in my apartment doing work or in the library, day and night, I hear those tunes, I know what's up. The last essential I have to talk about is a reliable phone. This right here is mine. It is currently recording the audio for this video. I mean, I think we all know what phones are great for. It's their basic core, they are communication devices that allow us to stay in touch with people, whether it's through texting, calling, social media. And that's really convenient for when you have group projects and you need to communicate with different team members. You can also set reminders for studying or look up where your next class is on your favorite map app. But I think one of the most valuable features on your phone for your future self is this camera right here. It's easy to forget that the time that you spend at university is gonna fly by because you're so focused on the intensity of it. But I encourage you to document your process, take Take photos of your friends, take photos of your classrooms and your campus, take videos of special moments. It's going to be so special to be able to look back at all these different moments throughout your time at school. The school season always has its ups and downs, but I feel like these are the things that really helped me navigate the past four years. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already. And let me know in the comment section down below, what is your number one piece of advice? Well, your number one essential for fellow university college students. Whether you've graduated or you're in school, I would love to see all of you leave tips because then I think that's a really great resource for other students to check out. I will see you all very soon with a new video and until then, bye guys.